Hello everyone, this is Sherry Tao. It's a pleasure of mine to share with you EasyGraph, an open source graph data processing library developed by researchers at Fuda University. This is the first video of a tutorial series that walks you through our powerful functions and algorithms. And hopefully, we can be helpful to your exploration into the field of social network analysis. EasyGraph is managed by the Mobile Systems and Networking Group at Fudan University. The group has many research interests and is currently focusing on computer networks, online social networks, and the metaverse platforms. I'd like to introduce a bit about graph theory to those of you who are unfamiliar with it. Graphs are almost everywhere, such as social networks, communication networks, and traffic networks. The social network is one of the most special ones because it is normally built upon on graphs and follows certain sociological theories. The six degrees of separation theory, for example, builds networks based on human relationships and finds that you are no more than five people away from any stranger. There are many graph analysis tools or open source libraries including GIFI and iGraph, for social network analysis. However, none of them covers the necessary set of methods for certain essential social domains. So we developed EasyGraph as the first open source library to implement the most complete structure hole spanner detection method. Moreover, EasyGraph covers a variety of classic social network algorithms such as community detection and centrality calculation. We also have improved some algorithm performance through concurrent and hybrid programming. EasyGraph is written in Python and a part of the API is implemented using C++. It supports the construction and analysis of undirected and directed graphs. It mainly has the following four aspects. Structural hole spanner detection, graph embeddings, some social analysis algorithms, and visualization. Here on the homepage, you can find information for installation and usage example. Let's briefly go through the reference here. The first interface is a graph class. We support four types of graphs. Undirected graph, simple directed graph, multi-directed graphs, and multi-undirected graphs. The community functions are mainly for community detection. And there are some methods for motive calculation. The component functions calculate some connected components in the graph. And the path functions have algorithms for calculating the shortest path. Graph embedding can represent nodes in the graph as vectors. Structural hole spanners are our detection method to find the spanners. And then there are also some classic datasets. The drawing functions include some visualization methods. The reading and writing graphs contain some input and output methods supported by our easy graph. And lastly, the centrality and graph generator functions are pretty self-explanatory too. Feel free to explore all the functions and run some on our sample datasets, or you can keep following our tutorials. Let me walk you through the installation and usage of easy graph. Let's start with creating a virtual environment with Python. 
so that we can control the version better. Then let's activate the virtual environment with source environment slash bing slash activate. Then let me quickly upgrade my paper really fast. Let's install EasyGraph now. You can install that with pip as pip install python EasyGraph. As you can see, it's a pretty quick process. But if you are installing it for the first time, it may be slow because of its dependencies. So let me fast forward to when the installation is finished. Let's try this code in tutorial. It is used to analyze and visualize the structural host spanners in a dataset. We can call easy graph dataset to get a graph structure, and we are calling the greedy method of easy graph to get the first five structure host banners in this graph. That is to say, to get the first five nodes that are the most important in this graph structure. And we can print this node. And next, we call the visualization method to draw this picture. As you can see here, the five spanners in the figure are all represented by red pentagrams. And we can also see that they are indeed in a relatively central position in this figure, which means that they are more important in this structure. And then we also call the CDF function to get a CDF curve. The x-axis in this graph is corresponding with the number of nodes connected to the node. Then the y-axis is a cumulative distribution. The blue dashed line represents the normal users, and the red solid line represents the structural hole spanners. We can see that the structural hole spanners have significantly more followers than ordinary users which also shows that they will occupy a more important position in the network structure. Okay, the above is the installation and usage of EasyGraph. You can also experiment locally to explore it yourself. To sum it up, in this video, we explain the background and original intention of the EasyGraph release and also introduce the main features of the EasyGraph. In addition, we also demonstrate the installation and use of EasyGraph. Then regarding the arrangement of future videos, we will consider introducing the use of graph computing APIs and their algorithm com complements. We will also use EasyGraph to analyze some classic datasets to get some interesting conclusions. If you have anything you want to see, you are very welcome to leave a message. And if there are any issues encountered while using EasyGraph, please feel free to leave feedback at our GitHub repository. The link will be posted in the comment section. That's all for this video, and see you in the next episode.